hot dog. I mean, slightly radioactive dog. A new study in partnership with the Clean Futures Fund was looking at the genetic differences in the dogs of Chernobyl. There seemed to be two genetically distinct populations of dogs in that area. One in Chernobyl city and one that lives in and around the power plant itself. What's really interesting about this study is that despite living in a highly mutagenic environment, mutations alone seemingly cannot explain the genetic differences between these dogs. So the radiation that they might be incorporating into their bodies doesn't seem to be doing the genetic differentiation that a lot of people might expect. It's possible that some dogs simply had more radio-resistant genes and then passed on those genes via natural selection and evolution. <coughs> the work is ongoing, but if you want to support the dogs there and the science that they are contributing to, make sure to click the fundraiser somewhere in this video. Thanks.